I'm BJ from Hearns and I'm going to talk about a brand new Chompeter 116 scale Panther G. So this is actually one of my favourite tanks. It's um it's going to be quite large. So overall the hole is going to be like this size uh, and it's got full interior detail. So how about we crack it open and see what's inside. Alright so we've got various items in each box. Let's open this one. How big this box is and how much stuff is in it. Alright, so we've got all the individual track links. And they're going to be individu individually pinned, so they're going to work. There you go, give you an idea. There's the size of the turret. All the interior is going to be in there as well. Alright, so we've got the uh, radiator. Ex oh, there's exhaust for the engine. Radio, got suspension parts. We've got here, we've got um, ammunition stowage. There you go, you've got all the ammo. And you can see there's a lot there. Now, these particular tanks used to carry quite a bit of 75mm uh, ammunition. Let's pull this out, pull this out. And here we go. There's the top of the hull. So you can see how it's got all these areas here, for all the panels, they can just be lifted off, so you can see all the internals, so you'll get the engine inside here, you get all the radiators there, you can even see, you know, the toothed ring here, where the turret spins around, get your radio operator and your driver will be here, it's quite nice isn't it? And then of course you've got the main hole down there, oh, I'm running out of room here, oh, there's exhaust to the outside. So the late version had quite special exhaust, so they're the bigger ones with the uh, suppressors on them. Got this huge aluminium barrel. Lots of photo rich parts. There's a machine gun. Lots of photo rich, multiple sheets. Okay, because, and that's all the, uh, the armor plating that was on the side. So that's all brass as well. And they're the internal machine gun. So one would have been next to the main gun, and the other one would have been at the front with the radio operator. And you got you have to pull out, but there's a there you go, it gives a good idea. Size of the hull. It's a nice um looks like brass twine, feels like brass. It's not brass, probably some sort of metallic for the tow chains. I'll pull this back. You uh, look so happy. <laughs> hey mate. Yes. You look happy. I like this thing. It's because model okay. kit. That's your that's your thing. It is my thing. That's good. It's my thing. I love it. Yes. How long have you been doing model kits, Peter? For oh, as a time. hobby. I first started when I was four, I think. Oh wow. Yeah, because all my brothers used to build stuff. And I used to feel like I was missing out, so I wanted to build stuff too. Mm -hmm. And then occasionally I'll pick up some of their built models and try to roll them around and break them. <laughs> and they'll get offset. But they all stopped building stuff after they went to university, so I just kept going. Nice. Yeah, so there's that bit there. We've got another two big boxes. Mm -hmm. But as you can imagine, these are just going to be full of all the internal stuff. First, you use infrared viewing. So we could actually see where the enemy were. But because I only had one, it re relied on the commander to tell everyone else where they had to go. But it was quite technologically advanced. So we've got a lot more stuff here. We've got uh, fuel tanks. Uh, there's more internal. This part of the guns. So interesting that this one had the aluminium barrel, but it's also included as a plastic item. So I guess you've got choices there. Yeah, I wonder why they do that. So there's, there's a couple of um, glass presses there. It's all the engine. Pretty impressive. Alright, so these are just going to be lots and lots of bits for the inside. So these are the, the external panels, your engine hatch. Uh, that's the front end, so front glacis plate. So the machine gun would have gone inside here. Your yeah, engine cover, uh, that's where the radio operator and the driver's hatch is going. And then you've got all these got the wheels and all the individual suspension. So these are all the torsion bar suspension. What's we got here? And yeah, you've got gearboxes, they're at the front. 
more stuff from the inside. So this is a huge, huge build, but looks fantastic. So we've got one more box left. So we've got this one here. Okay. So, all right, so we've got more internal details here. We've got radiators, there's an air filter box. So a lot more bits to the engine. You can sort of see how fine all the detail is because you've got these little wing nuts here. They're really fine. And you even get down to all these. So this is part of the drive system for so the clutches. This is uh, going to be part of the gearbox. Well, they actually give you uh, choices for the, uh, the gun mantlet. So this is more of the earlier style where it was all rounded. And the very late ones were flattened on the bottom here for a bit more protection so that the uh, the rounds can go into the top of the hull. These are all parts for tow cable here. They're the eyelets. The more for the, the covers of the fans. All your road wheels. Oh, more of the uh, torsion suspension. Oh, there we go. We've got the, uh, the engine engine block there. And more for the track. So these are the inner guides. So there you go. Lots and lots of bits. So yeah. Panther by Trompeno 116 scale. Beautifully large kit. It's got all the interesting late war technology. And there you go, there's a manual with full color detail options. I might have to make one of these as a future project. So many things I want to do. So Get your good instructions step by step, like always from Trumpeter. It's all good there. There you go. Beautiful kit and available now. Thank you. Thank you very much.